I'm just gonna do a really quick video today because I'm lazy and yeah <laughs> that basically sums it up I'm lazy so I just wanted to show you guys a couple like charms and stuff kind of thing that I never leave the house without because just reasons okay and I actually I've forgotten like one of these when I went to school one time and had like a complete mental breakdown and had to get picked up from school like these mean a lot to me. Two of them are fairly recent that I've gotten, but the other two I've had for a while. So the first one is the one that I never, ever, ever take off. And that would be this, which you've probably seen it in my videos or any pictures if you follow me on my site modeling stuff. But it's um, really faded. It used to be bronze. Now it's like, I don't know if it's focusing. Um, now it's like silver because I've worn it in the pool. I wear it every time I shower and just yeah So it's gone through a lot and I wake up every morning with it like this And I have to like figure out where the charm is to stop it from choking me So I wore I start I bought this because I started getting into law van Satanism But I was still extremely superstitious and so I kind of freaked myself out especially since that was when I started watching Supernatural for the first time and so I was a little freaked out about stuff, so I was looking up anti-possession charms on Etsy. And um, this one was actually like two bucks, so this is an anti-possession charm, and I never take it off. And I haven't taken it off for maybe eight, nine months now, straight. I used to take it off when I took showers and just hang it on the door handle, but I freaked out too bad because... I always get scared that something's gonna like come out of my drain and attack me and possess me so I never take it off and the only time that it ever that I ever undo it but I don't take it off I just bring it around to the front and undo it right here real fast um, is when I'm putting on my other charm this I got fairly recently like a month or so ago maybe two months it's tiger's eye I got it from a, a local pagan Wiccan store that used to be right next to me, but they just moved locations like a half an hour away from butts. But um, I got it there. Um, she said that I got it, I saw their thing about it online saying that it helped with wealth and money, which I kind of need right now because all I'm trying to do is get out of here. I just need a car so I can leave like just somewhere but here because there's nothing really left here for me anymore and it's been really hard on me. And um, so I got this. It promotes wealth and whenever I'm going out in public I always hook it onto this necklace just in case I run into like some freaking, I don't know, producer or something that likes my look. I don't know. <laughs> I just kind of hope that somebody will come up to me and be like, hey, do you want to make a million dollars and like be serious about it? I don't know. I have weird moments. So there's that, my tiger's eye. And then this one is another one that I never take off. It's just this bracelet right here. As you can see it's really silver but on the inside it's kind of like an orangey red color because that's what the original color was. I put this bracelet on in April 2011. I've only taken it off once since then. Only once and it was when I was still a member of the um, Latter-day Saint church. I went to the temple with my sisters one time and you're not allowed to wear jewelry into the um, temple into any of the rooms or anything so when we were getting dressed I had to take off my bracelet which it was terrifying for me and I was freaking out about the whole time and I couldn't focus on anything like spiritual or anything because I was just like my arm is naked I'm not wearing my bracelet and it was just because I promised myself that the day this bracelet leaves my wrist is basically the day I die like I don't want to ever take off this bracelet so the fact that I had to take it off it was like for like a half an hour in it was it would have been in early 2012, I think. So I'd only been wearing it for a year at that time. But I've been wearing this for technically not three years straight, but I don't really count that half hour, so I, I literally never take this bracelet off. Like, whenever people touch it, I, like, freak out, and I'm like, don't touch my bracelet. <laughs> it's a big deal to me. Um, and then I have this, which is the one that I forgot at school one time. It, I've actually had two of them. Doo, doo, doo. It's a um, hematite ring. Uh, my friend Drew got my first one for me and then I was wearing it for a really long time and then 
Of all places, when I was trying to pull up my pants in the bathroom, the ring slipped off my finger and shattered, and I like almost burst into tears. I was so upset because I literally almost never take this off. It's always on this finger. And so I messaged him immediately, and within a couple days, he brought me back because I got this at the same place that I got this at the local Pagan Wiccan store. Um, but he brought me back to it a couple days later and got me a new one. I've actually started wearing this one on my middle finger for asexuality, which I actually bought it originally to wear on my middle finger, but I found out it was for asexuality, and I, like, for some reason the thought of that kind of freaked me out even though I knew I was asexual. I just didn't really want anybody to know yet. I wasn't really comfortable with it myself fully. I hadn't really done enough soul searching, I guess. I don't know. I just didn't want anybody to know yet. And so I just wore it on my thumb all the time. And it's only been fairly recently that I've started wearing it on my middle finger, um, both because I, I've become very prideful of my um, sexuality and also because my mom just gave me this ring. So this one, super fancy. I don't know if you can see that. It's um, actually real gold. It's not fake gold or painted silver or anything. This is real gold and real amethyst. And I've been looking for amethyst a lot lately because I've heard it helps with sleep and also it helps with like a a future kind of thing, um, which I've really been needing to get my future sort of going and also my sleeping schedule's been crap. So I was like, wow, amethyst is perfect for me. I need some. So I found this like huge geode, amethyst geode in my room that had been sitting there for a while, but I hadn't really taken the time to look at it. And I was like, dang, I can't believe I hadn't looked at this before. <laughs> and um, I, just, I showed my mom and she, her birthstone is amethyst, so she has a lot of amethyst jewelry and so she gave me this ring. So I started wearing this ring on my thumb and then the other one on my middle finger. I felt, also felt comfortable wearing this one on my thumb because I have this mood ring that I used to wear all the time on this thumb that I never took off. That was about the same size as this, like in that way and in the how loose it is aspect. But when I was dating Anthony, I gave it to him as a symbol of my trust since it was so important to me at the time when he moved and he hasn't gotten the chance to give me my stuff back since we broke up over a year ago. But, um, yeah. So I kind of wear, I have to have a ring on my thumb when I go out, otherwise it freaks me out. Anyway, those are my fun little weird quirks. I've also started wearing this bracelet which for some reason I've stopped taking off at night. I used to take it off at night because I didn't want this star stabbing me. But I made this bracelet and then a matching one that had white instead of black. And then the this thing, I'm pretty sure, was purple. And I made matching ones for me and my, my soul sister. Um, or my closest best friend, Sarah when she left to go um, visit some family out of the country. I wanted her to take something with her, so I made us matching bracelets. Yeah, so those are all like my weird jewelry quirks and stuff that I never leave the house with. <laughs> Sorry for the really lame short video, but I just feel like being lazy today and watching Supernatural. So, I'm gonna do, do I'm, I'm, I'm gonna go do that now. <laughs> See you guys next week. Bye.